welcome back to this Rift Let's Play. Always Sambo, Seraphis, and joining us as always is <laughs> is Carlton himself, Tallahassee Sheriff of Rock Ridge. How are you this evening, my friend? I'm good. I'm um, <laughs> just something. I don't know if they've changed something in the game again, or it's the lighting. But my armor looks freaking amazing tonight. Yeah. <laughs> If you may say so yourself. Do you know what? What do you think about that, Seraphis? Oh, yeah. I think she's agreeing with you because she's dancing away. You know what? You're right. I, there was a patch. And let's have a look at his armor here, folks. If we zoom right in. Yeah. Maybe they keep changing the filter or the lighting or something. I honestly don't know. Yours looks different as well. Yeah, I was going to say, mine looks different, and in fact, the world looks a little bit different tonight. So, look, maybe maybe it's just, I mean, we're filming a little bit earlier than normal. Maybe it's not as dark as it normally is or something. Oh, oh, I have no idea. Do you know what, though? Do you know what? Watching these two have a bit of a boogie brings back memories of a certain dance music video. Do you know what I'm talking about? I'm, I'm guessing it's Tom Jones. <laughs> Well, no, do you know what we made? We made a dance music video way back when we just very first started Rift and it just so happened to come up and cross my dashboard the other day. It's hilarious, actually. And, of course, we've got the, yeah, the Tom Jones music and Carlton and the clip from Fresh Prince of bel -Air. That's really funny. I can't believe that's, like, how long ago must that be? Because that was right after we started playing. That's over a year, right? It's over a year. Wow. Time goes so fast. That's amazing. Well, it's still great to have you guys following us along here, by the way, in Rift. And, of course, if you joined us in the last episode, you'll know we're around here at Hammonel Fortress, where last time we were on a bit of a quest to do this, we were using the Rune Guard hammers on a whole bunch of wardens. And you can see we did one up there. We've got one to do tonight here, right above us, which is on Warden Barkev. And we've got another one over here, which is to use it on what's his name warden Everan. the other thing we were doing tallahassee by the way is a puzzle that was around here somewhere up the top of hamanel fortress and i know you were really keen to finish that off tonight weren't you i was but um you know you being you you fell off hamanel fortress <laughs> shh shh you weren't meant to tell everybody that part it was meant to be our little secret of course you know what we're talking about the end of last week's episode we logged out right on the edge of a ledge high up above the courtyard there and that was Tallahassee's idea and you know what I actually said last week you know what's going to happen next week we're going to log in and I'm going to run forward and I'm going to die well what happened that's right I fell off and died and then aggroed a whole bunch of mobs all the way down here but of course thankfully we had Tallahassee to save the day actually I saw you buffing yourself up there that's something I've got to do as well before we go any further but look yeah we thought what we'd do is give the puzzle a break I mean we spent so long on it last time and did we succeed Tallahassee <sighs> No. no. No, we didn't. We failed miserably, in fact. Failure is always an option. Because it's us two. <laughs> well, yeah, that's true. I guess nobody should be too surprised about that. But we thought we'd give you a week's break from that, and then perhaps next week we'll come back and give it attempt number two, because it might just get a little bit frustrating. What isn't frustrating, though, is this dancing and saying hello to a couple of our wonderful viewers. And that's right, it's shout-out time. Just got two here tonight. First one is from icox 11 and they say, hey there, Sambo and Tallahassee, I'd like to ask for a shout out. Really been enjoying your Rift Let's Play. Thank you, Icox11, or my Rift Toons name, which is Hykoiosis. I, I, gosh, some of these names are so hard to pronounce. Sorry if I've got that wrong, mate. Hykoios, I think that's how you say it, on Greybriar. And, oh, look at that. He goes by the nickname Hike. So there you go, mate. Thank you very much for your support. And a big shout out to your character. Just got one more here. And this is from Prince Sephiroth. Oh, yeah, I know Prince Sephiroth. Tallahassee has been a big follower of ours right from the beginning. And in fact, I think we see them comment on pretty much every single Rift video. So a big special shout out to you, mate. And thank you very much for your support. And they say, hey there, Sambo and Tallahassee. Not sure if I've asked or not yet, but can I grab a shout out in your next Rift video? You certainly can. And don't let Seraph give up on Tallahassee. Oh, now you listening to this, Tallahassee. Don't let him give up on Tallahassee. True love is stronger than fear. Give it time. Just keep chipping away. Sooner or later, he will commit. Or... 
there's a big fat oar here, or he may jump off another cliff. Whichever happens first, huh? Well, thank you very much for that, Prince Sephiroth. What do you reckon, Tallahassee? Is it going to be that you're going to give in over time, or do you think there'll be a lot more base jumping? I will find the highest peak in Talara <laughs> and jump from it. Before before you marry Seraphis here? Yes. Oh, you just you know what? You're just going to hurt her feelings. I've, look at that. Look! Like you've gone made her cry. You're such a brutish animal. Okay, fine. We don't care. You can make her unhappy. We've got questing to do, and if I look at my map, I believe it's up the top of that tower. You can lead the way, because there are all sorts of hideous mobs in between us and our destination. Look at that. He's just grabbing them. He cares not. He shrugs off danger. And look at that. All of these, all at the same time. Are you mad? Are you quite mad? Yeah, I, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> he's not going to disagree with that one, is he? All right, I think we could throw some heals your way. Look how many mobs you've got on you. You are insane. Although, I noticed you're at 100% health. And of course, let's face it, that's through my amazing healing. Okay, maybe it's not. That's through your awesome spec. But you're still in... My own yeah, well, you're, you're in no, tank spec, tank aren't you? Spec. Yeah. Yeah, I thought so. But you're still doing an incredibly large amount of DPS, though, may I add. How, how are you doing that? It's all AoE. Oh, the AoE. The Reaver is pretty much just all AoE. Uh, okay, all right, well that's pretty cool because it means that you can be in your tank spec but still dish out the punishment. That's, that's pretty amazing. Oh, by the way, those of you who are astute might notice, where is it? There we go. I've got myself a new staff and that's... <laughs> If you're wondering where I got it from, it was from aggroing all of the mobs in the area here as we ran down from there. That's where I'm wriggling my mouse, that's where we logged out. So of course I logged in today and went ooh, plonk, all the way down there and pretty much picked up every mob in the neighbourhood. One of them just happened to have this staff and it was Tallahassee that said, hey that could be better than your one. I wouldn't have even noticed. So there we go, got myself a new staff which means more spell power. So I'm very happy about that. Now Tallahassee, this is something I've been meaning to ask for a while. You know me, I'm pretty familiar with my WoW stats. Stats in other games I tend to sort of fumble around. Is spell power in Rift exactly the same as it is in WoW? In other words, does it pretty much add to the potency of my heals and my DPS? Or is it just my DPS? Or is spell power used for something completely different altogether? No, it's um, basically all of those things. So... Um, with your actual damaging spells and your healing spells. Oh, okay, so it does affect both. So more spell power is good for me, pretty much. Yeah. All right, good to know. Now, by the way, folks, you can see my life-giving veil going nuts there. All of those green numbers streaming off the enemy, and that's because I'm in my Chloromancer build at the moment. I'm not in my Pyromancer, although nowadays I don't really have a Pyro. Well, I guess I do have a Pyro. It's more of a sort of Pyro Warlock, I think. And again, that's courtesy of Dubois, aka Dub. Thanks for that. Oh, here's the Warden. Okay, so do we have to beat him up a little bit before we use the Rune Guard Hammer, right? Yeah. All right. So right. try it now. Okay, here we go. Shining. Oh, that was close. That was way close. I think the last time we did that on the first warden we had to kill, it was just as close as well. What happens if you accidentally kill it? Do you have to wait for it to respawn? Yeah, you have to wait for it to respawn. Oh, man. And by the way, look at that view. Look at those mountains up there. Oh, I love this game. Hey, another thing. You know how I like my snow, right? And you've been kind of hmm. dying for me to get to... Well, we need to get to Iron Pine Peak. Is that the next zone from here? Because then a couple of our viewers suggest that that might be the case. Is that right? It's pretty much the next zone, unless I feel like dragging you to Droughtlands. Don't you dare. Desert versus snow, you wouldn't be so mean, surely. Well, actually, maybe you would. Yes. <laughs> How long have you known me for? Yeah, that's true. He'd probably deliberately do it just so that I pine for Iron Pine Peaks. But no, don't worry, folks. We are definitely going to go there. We've pretty much been waiting the entire series for me to go there. Uh, because you showed me way back when. Remember the top of the lift? And you showed me the very entrance of it. And I've been sort of hanging out for it ever since. Been teasing me with it ever since then. That was like, what, eight months ago or something? Um, yeah, we were still in Glenwood. Yeah, I think so. Gosh, it was a long time ago. Oh, time flies so fast when we play this game. 
never mind. Now, of course, speaking of gaming, we love being in Rift here, but gosh, this time of the year, Tallahassee, it's kind of going bonkers, isn't it, with the amount of new games that are coming out? I mean, I think today on Xbox, did you receive your copy of Darksiders 2? Pretty sure you did. I did, and I haven't had a chance to play it yet. Oh, why not? By the way, um, I installed the game, but it doesn't want to unlock. Oh, what? So you're playing it on PC Every or Xbox? Oh, no, on Xbox. So I get about 30 seconds worth of gameplay. What? And then she stops. So is that because you're trying to play it before the release date or something? I'm assuming that it is because I haven't heard of anything like that happening before. No. That's interesting. I guess that's one way of stopping it. There we go, by the way. Use the Rune Guard Hammer on Warden Iveran. Let's have a look on our map and see what we have to do next. And that is looking like a hand in hay. But look where I've marked on the map. What is that? Is that an Earth Rift? That is an Earth Rift. Can we do it? Can yeah. we do it? Can we do it? Alright. Go on. Alright. Alright. Look at it. It just looks amazing. Don't the rifts? Look at that, folks. Just incredible, isn't it? And of course, Rifts being the namesake of this game. Definitely recommend that you do as many as possible because you get yourself good old Planarite as well as a whole bunch of other awesome rewards. And the worst thing that can happen, well, you die. So slightly... The worst thing that can happen is you'll be the healer. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, he's being nasty. Maybe, maybe we just won't heal him today, oh, of course. I'll heal ya. Do you know what? I really love the fact that there's different elements of rifts, by the way, as well. Of course, earth, fire, water. I think there's wind. There's... what else is there? I can't remember. Oh, death. How can we forget death rifts? Yep. Very and cool. Why? And, 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 round the corner, we've got the expansion coming as well. What's it called? Storm Legion, I think. Is that the Storm right name? Storm Legion. Oh, yeah, can't... Can't wait for that. Oh, what are these? I oh, no. We'll just greed on those. We don't need those. Alright, same thing again. Alright, these are some creepy looking on, mobs. Let me get aggro before you start DPSing. Okay. Okay. Do you reckon he's picking up enough mobs, guys? <laughs> he's got like half the map here. No. Lord man. I don't, I don't think so. Far out. I, you know what? I just can't get over the fact that you can do so much DPS while you're in your tanks. I mean, imagine how much DPS you'd be able to do if you're actually in DPS mode. I mean, that would be bonkers. Yeah, I can do a lot. You can. Worries are a little OP. You're just a tad. And everything's almost dead. Yep, and I got locked down there as well, silenced, I think, by one of the mobs. Really? I did. What an ass. Uh, no. Oh, what's this? Shield? Uh, pass on that one. You can take it. It's no good for me. Oh, okay. You got better? Yeah, it's a cleric shield as well. So. Oh, okay. Once again, folks, if you're new to Rift, yes, these are the namesakes, and these are basically little instances, if you like, that pop up all around the world randomly, and you can always see where they are by these symbols on the map. There's a fire one right there, a minor fire rift, you can see there are death ones, there's a tier, a minor rift there, there's another death one down there, you get water ones, you name it, and again, it's kind of like a unique little challenge and it has some great rewards so if you see one you can try and solo them if you like they probably won't have too much luck at level but always great for extra xp and just for something different to do and speaking of rewards i've got some there there we go 14 planar right we'll take all of those thank you very much and remind us again Tallahassee, whereabouts do we spend planar right um at the merchant there's actually a few of them you can either go into your capital city or there'll be merchants sort of around the zone, basically. So yeah. if we were to go back to Three Springs, there'll be one there. Right, and they're, I think they're called Planarite Merchants, aren't they? I think it's that simple. Yep. Well, oh, that right. sounds oh, nasty. Oh my lord, will you look at this? It is a more brute. Look at the monsters in this game, folks. That is absolutely amazing. I love the design of the creatures in Rift. Seriously, try on worlds. 
10 out of 10, in fact 11 out of 10 for just designing the most amazing looking mobs. Seriously, they're just brilliant. And it always reminds me, Tallahassee, of the very early days, back in the day, when we very first saw a dragon. Gosh, that was amazing. Look at that, we are done. Let's take our rewards and you can Holy see we've got... Space. Oh, look at it. Look at the size but of this look, thing. It's like he sort of smushed over to one side. All right, we are done with that rift. Let's clear our marker here. There we go. And I think we need to head down there and hand in. What do you say? Yeah, let's do that. So I'm going to bring up near the end of these quests. Really? Does that mean we're going to be moving out of the zone soon? Uh, soonish. Ooh, that's a big Ooh. drop. Ouch. That's a big drop. Yep. And you know what that means, folks? That is... Oh, discovered stone key caught. Wait, 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 wait. What's this? Do we get to quest here later? Uh, we will, yes. That's where the final quest of the zone happens. Oh, oh, okay. Looks very cool. And that shade-bound monstrosity there is an elite. That looks a bit nasty. Very cool. Love it. But yes, that means, folks, that it's going to be... Da -da 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 -da. Iron Pine Peaks is in our near future. So, yeah, really happy about that. Why have I got a quick... Whoa! We're going Droughtlands. No, not Droughtlands. You know, I'm nearly dead. Where did you go? Oh, in fact, I am... I am dead, and what the heck? I've just dropped in. I can see an instance there. What's going on? Yeah. What is that? That that instance is uh, runic descent. So it's an actual dungeon. Yeah. Okay. Well, do you know what? I have to be repaired because my soul damage is at fifty percent, which means I'm half dead. Yeah, that's all right. Dear oh dear. I have to do the same. Uh, now where are the repair? I'm following the quest hand in, but that's not where I really want to go, is it? I really need to go down to the village first, so I can repair, that was a bit silly. Although, hang on, now I have to go get my corpse first, don't I? Yep. Oh man, here I am thinking I was soul walking. Or, or when you are still, like, soul walked, come back to the main village, and you'll find um, this, the healer, and they'll oh. be able to revive you. Oh, okay. Now, I'm assuming that that's going to cost a whole lot more, though, or I'm going to take more damage or something. Um, it'll cost a little bit more, but it's worthwhile doing. Uh, too late. I am rezzed. That's okay. Let's see if I can get through here without aggroing everything and its mother. Probably not possible knowing me. Oh, oh and there's the quest marker. Yeah, it's coming up saying there's an abyssal commando. That means there's a water rift around here somewhere. Hello! Yeah, don't worry. I'm just heading back for repairs. And to sell my greys. We make good business deals, yes. There we go. Until next time. Alright, where's the healer? Healer, 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 where are you? Rune guard, rune guard. Is there a healer here? I thought there was, but I couldn't find it. Oh. Okay, I can't find it either. That's bad news, because yeah, I'm kind of fifty percent dead. Oh dear. Oh well, never mind. Well you could take the porticulum back to three springs. Uh, that's alright. Let's hand in. Oh, what's that? A pendant? Nice. Do you know what I love? I love being able to loot without having to dismount, by the way. That's very cool. Now, by the way, I can see there's a rift or something in between us and our hand in. What is that? A water invasion? Now, what's the difference between an invasion and a rift once again? So, a rift is actually the big rift that you see. Right. So, you know, the big monumental thing. Like we an just did. An invasion is just a foothold. Yeah. Oh, like this. So, okay. that is just an, that's just a foothold. All right. All right, finally getting to our hand in. Good lord. And we bought a mate. It's all right, he'll go down fairly fast. Yeah, nice. And bring friends. Oh, that's right, I forgot about them. Now, we'll get rid of our quest. There we go. All right, finally. General Stanek, hello. There is but one task remaining. The destruction of Tide Lord Brennan. Oh, and of course, yeah, we found out that secret a couple of episodes ago. It was all manner of crazy, wasn't it, with Tide Lord Brennan and that monster there? All right, let's have a look and see what he's got for us. Story quest at last. A hero has come to cleanse the corruption of my home. 
and restore the honour of the Hamanel Dwarves. Hyde Lord Brennan awaits in Stone Key Court. Oh, you were dead right, that's just where we were. No doubt making a last ditch attempt to breach the fortress. Use the hammer to interrupt him and then end his life. So you can see the summary here. Oh, this does sound very Final Zone-ish, doesn't it? Use the imbued Rune Guard hammer on the Shadebound monstrosity at Stone Key Court and then slay Tide Lord Brennan. Return to Captain Hagen when the task is done. And it looks like we're going to get some nice, oh, yeah, some very nice robes here that are better than what I've got. And if I have a look at them, oh, oh, they're a bit flash, Tallahassee. This may well be my new outfit because, of course, I'm loving this one, my Battle Mage outfit that I've been wearing for months and months and months. Of course, if I get a new flash one, we might have to wear that. Very interesting. All right, let's accept that one. Have a look on the map. Make sure it's where we think it is. And, yep, there it is right over there. Okay, mounting up. Going to get on my normal horse for once. Haven't been on the old horse. And um, look, I'm actually taller than you. <laughs> okay. All right, let's try to find a way through this. That yeah. That's not going to be completely ridiculous. Um. Well, are they hard to take down? We, the foothold? Yeah. No, we can do that really quickly if you want. Yeah, go on. Go on. It's more planar, right? Why not? All right, fine. Here we go. Here we go, he says. All right, let's toss him a couple of heals. Here we go. Uh, probably don't need heals just yet. No. Just a wee top up. Look at that, that's the great thing about this particular build, isn't uh, it? Is take the abysmal commander down, you need to kill him. Okay, but the good thing is, I mean, I'm not having to direct heal you because you're getting the benefit from all of the life damage that we're doing here, and uh, it's such a good system. It is, it's a really good system. Yep. Um, you know, it makes it a lot easier for you because that means there's less pressure, I guess, because yeah. you can keep up DPS the... and I stay healthy. Yep. Oh, look at this. Shimmering Claw. Become a deep one and move 10% faster. This effect will end if you use an ability. I'm guessing that that's kind of a novelty. A novel, I mean, you, what did you get? Yep. Dragon Turtle Shell. Oh, that's like a augment for recipes. So it's just very random, isn't it, as to what you get out of these rifts and footholds. Yep, it's really random. Right, still very cool. And yes, folks, okay. this is a mount that I haven't ridden for a while. It's the Tundra Yarnosaur. I think the last time we were riding these was back in Scarlet Gorge, wasn't it? I think. I think so. But isn't yeah. that still just a 60% speed mount? Oh, yeah, it is too. But you know what? I just like riding it. I, pff, don't ask me why. Oh, my Lord. All right, I'm just... I'm going to aggro everything. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Don't worry about healing me yet, because I don't want you to pull aggro. Okay. Oh, she can come as well. Talk about cleaning up the entire zone. Hilarious. Well, it's got to be done. And watch them all fall over now. <laughs> Well, these two are basically untouched. Amazing, eh? But look at your health. I mean, it's still 86%. You know, after surviving all of that, it's a pretty good tanking spec, if you ask me, and you're still able to kill them all. Pretty awesome. Yeah. Hey, have a look. Guess who it is. Coming. You'll oh, no. Never no! What the heck is he doing here? Scotty got his shit together. What's it? I can do this. I'm ready to do this. Oh, hello, friend. What are you doing? up? How, how, we quite literally... I remember you. You were there with me at Barolt's Ascent. Are you here to kill that abomination at Stone Key Court? Yes, Scotty. 
then I want to come and fight with you. I'd be glad to have your help. Was that coincidental? Oh, look. What's going on here? No, my son, this is not your fight. You are needed for a greater purpose. Return to Reclaimer's Hold and continue your training. Dad, is that really... Hang on. Did we know that this was Scotty's father? No. Yes, Scotty. I finally remember who I am as well. Gosh, this is all coming together nicely now. Come Ascended, it is time to finish this. You know, that's very interesting. What if I hadn't clicked on Scotty? We wouldn't have seen any of that. You no. would have never known. Well, he says, no, I'm not running away this time. I'm going to help defeat Shadebound Monstrosity, the Shadebound Monstrosity, and save my homeland. Scotty will never run away again. Interesting. Okay. Well, come on then, Scotty. It would have been funny if he faded out. Yeah, that would be funny. Well, they look, he's, he's walking the other way. Oh, some help you are. Never mind. Actually, you know what? I've forgotten all my buffs. Whoopsie. Hang on. There we go. All right, so here we are at Stone Key Court. Very interesting. Now, before we go up there, Tallahassee, this, I mean, this looks like it's kind of old and ruinous. Do you, like, is there a place for this in the lore, or is it just a random, you know, interesting feature? I mean, does it actually have a background? It does have lore. Um, I just don't know what the lore is. <laughs> oh, fair enough. Maybe we'll find out. But speaking of finding out, folks, we are completely out of time. We're going to have to leave it on a cliffhanger right here. I know, frustrating. But, Tallahassee, next week, I say it's going to be a very interesting episode. If we kill this guy and complete this quest and then go and hand this in, what will be in store for us next? Dratlands. Oh, you're horrible. You, you you, know what? You're going to make her cry again. Stop doing that. Oh, and by the way, did you notice that? Did you see what happened there? That happens to me all the time. She does like about a tenth of a second of an emote and then stops and I have to do it twice. I don't know what that is, whether it's some kind of bug or not. But yes, folks, if we leave this fight till next week, we can do the fight, go hand in, and then pretty much, according to Tallahassee anyway, be sent off to our next zone, which, with a bit of luck, Drought will lands. be not the Droughtlands, but I pine peak finally after Trailing. all of these months i can't wait but that's it folks we will definitely have to wait till the next episode because we're out of time so on behalf of myself sambo seraphis here and of course tallahassee who's horrible and wants to take us to drought lands rather than i'm pine peaks as i saying take care hope you guys are having a Trailing. great day wherever you are in the world we will see you next time in iron pine peak until then it's bye-bye <laughs>